and he banged me on the head, which he always did on earth, even if we were in a pub together, he pat me on the head and I would say, don't do that, Dad, not in the pub. And he, he gave me the personal proof. That but how do you know it wasn't a trick? No, because uh, I, know, I know it wasn't a trick, because the p people who are materialising on the regular basis that, I, that I'd witnessed the week before had all been checked out with their families on repeatable experiments. And when they materialise, Lou, they're as solid and as natural as you are, and they're speaking in their old voices they had on Earth. For example, a, a Dutch lady came over and took part in one of these experiments, and her dead son materialised. He was killed in the Dutch army, and he materialised, and they spoke in fluent Dutch to one another. Now, the medium and the peop other people in the room couldn't speak a word of Dutch. That's the sort of proof that we're going to present when we get our scientists to do these repeatable experiments. We've got to now do this. We've got to get the medium to work with our scientists, then we can get it all on film. And I can't see anything stopping internationally famous people who have recently deceased fully materialising at these experiments. Um, have, you, have you, or people you have spoken to, um, asked these materialised beings what it's like? Uh, what did they tell you? What would it's like in this other world? Well, that, that question has been asked through mediums uh, for a couple of hundred years. And it's more or less confirming everything that the hearsay said. What's it like in the next world? They, ver they say very often a lot of people die and they don't know they're dead because it's very similar to this one. You don't get any shocks when you pass over. Very similar. It's just a, the next world, they say, is just as solid and as natural to them as ours is to us. And how is it different, though? You're saying it's not? It's different. They, don't, they say they don't have to have food. They don't, you, need, you need food and drink to keep the physical body going. But they tell us in, in their world you don't need food and drink. They have totally different laws of physics operating at the, the speeds their subatomic particles move at. They don't need to do, uh, maintain a physical body, that type of thing. But they have learning, they, have, they, 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 they um, gather knowledge as much as they can, the same as you're doing and I'm doing. They do the same in the next world. But people who, who are materialistic, they want to carry on doing what they're doing on Earth, I suppose. And they, are, and they, they do have bodies, you're saying? Absolutely, yeah, there's no question Just about like that. ours? Well, they can reproduce their old physical body for recognition purposes down to the fingerprints. Um, John Logie Baird, the great um, pioneer of television, the Scottish pioneer of television, he tells in his memoirs how one of, one of these people materialised and they took the fingerprints of the person and compared those prints to the ones on the dead physical body and they were identical. Now that's a superb uh, scientific example and that's what we'll be repeating now when we get our scientific team in to do these repeatable experiments with, with a contemporary materialisation medium. Um. Do you get a sense of their, their psychological dispositions when they are there? Are they happier there? Are they less happy? Well, what is it well, like? The people who materialise, I must say, are incredibly happy because they're being reunited with their loved ones. This bond of love is never broken. As soon as somebody dies, what they want to try and do is, is tell their loved ones that they're still alive. Again, I refer to the story of Jesus coming back to his disciples. That's what happens when you die. You think, oh, this is a lovely place. I want to tell my friends that They've got something to look forward to. The, the, the scientists are wrong. When you're dead, you're dead is wrong teaching. Because they, they also tell us that if you've left a bomb in a crowded pub, for example, you aren't going to be mixing with normal, decent people. Now, that makes sense to me. Most people are nice, as you know, Lou, and they, they all go into the same place and, and mix together. But if you've been a, an absolute swine on this earth and spent your whole life being nasty to people, it makes sense to me that you're not going to be mixing with normal people. And that's what they tell us. It's only hearsay, but it's hearsay that makes sense to me. I, I'm, I'm not sure I, I, I'm correct in this, but am I reading in what you just said a, 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 a scientific version of heaven and hell? In other words, in, in the Christian canon, yes. if, if you behave in a certain way, you go to heaven on this earth, yes. and, if, and if you behave in another way, then you go to hell. So, is there heaven and hell as well in this other, in this you, other you world see, you're talking about? You see, I'm not that far away from that sort of teaching. And what I? is it? So, so, in this other world, which is... Um, are people being penalized for what they do on this earth Well, as they well? penalize themselves. It's, it's, as you think and behave on earth, so you're building up for yourself in, in the next world. People who have spent their whole life doing good and helping other people, they are obviously building up a, a nice environment for themselves in the next world. 
This is only hearsay, but it's hearsay that makes sense. We'll have to wait until we get there, Lou, to find out if this hearsay is true. When you say hearsay, why, why are you saying it's just Well, it's here? not hearsay when they fully materialise at repeatable Exactly. Standards. So why are you keeping using, why do you keep using the word hearsay? Well, it's very important because as long as you get through to scientists that what I'm pushing is the experimental proof of survival and we've now got the mathematical backup to show where the next world is, but a lot of people want to know, what do they say? That's the first thing you ask me, what's it like in the next world? And I said, well, as long as you realise it's hearsay, I'll repeat the hearsay, but I'm not being adamant about that. We'll have to wait until we get there. For example, I'm crazy on cricket, football and golf. That's my, my sport. And when I ask one of the materialised people, I can't imagine a world without my cricket, rugby and golf. And he, he said to me, Mike, when you get over here, you'll find you can play your sport if you want to, but you'll soon get fed up chasing after a ball. You'll want to try and bring enlightenment to people. You'll carry on what you're doing now in the next world. I'll try and bring enlightenment. That's what I'll do. But what, what else do we know ab about this other world? You said people don't need to eat. Do they need to sleep? Do they have sex? Do they have a government? Um, apparently not, um, but... Apparently uh, not what? Well, they're, 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 the government they're, 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 do not have sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to go into that side no. of things because obviously the sex is to reproduce um, physical bodies on Earth, isn't it? Whether they have it in the next world, um, I wouldn't like to go into that side of things. Now, tell me a bit about... Um, this might sound like a banal question, but where is this world? Right, now th this is the most important thing of all because when Sir William Crookes published his the results of his experiments in 1871, they were a long way from where we are now in 2007. Yes. With the, the scientists are now moving away from the Big Bang theory, which is no room for survival after death with the Big Bang. And they've been following Einstein's theory of relativity and I showed you what Einstein said about survival. He was dead against survival. He said there's no question of anybody surviving. So those are the two great pillars of science, the Big Bang Theory and relativity. But now the scientists that I'm in touch with are moving away from the Big Bang. They're saying that all the energy is coming from what they used to call the ether. But they've now brought it back under dark matter. And we're saying loud and clear that is the spirit world. That's the world we're coming from, and that's where we're going to return to. This that's is where these people live. You're that's saying. it. They live in the real world, whereas we're in a transient world here. We're only here for a very short time, plugged into this physical spacesuit. And when that dies, we, we carry on back where we came from. We come from that world and we return to it. We're only plugged into a physical spacesuit for a very short space of time. And you're saying scientists now are taking this seriously. Give me evidence. Which scientists are taking this, this idea seriously? Uh, Professor Brian Josephson. He's a Nobel laureate for physics. He works from the Cavendish Laboratory at Cambridge University. Now, this is currently, and he is standing out against orthodox scientific teaching. And as I showed you that cutting from the British newspaper, he's, he's, he's breaking from orthodox scientific teaching. And there's a whole lot of scientists across the world. I've just broadcast um, across America with another Cambridge University science, Prof uh, Professor Peter Wadhams. And he's 100% behind me on the work of Sir William Crookes and Sir Oliver Lodge. Sir Oliver Lodge was the first one to point to the um, spiritual location uh, for the etheric world. And that was back in the 30s. And that article is in there as well. This is, this is a Sir, Oliver, uh, Sir Oliver Lodge article here. So, so you're saying it's called again, rather than ether, it's called dark... Dark matter. Dark matter. Yeah, so this other world is called dark matter. Because when Einstein came on the scene, they got rid of the ether. In effect, they threw out the spirit world. They, th they threw out any chance.